Hey everybody, this is Brian again. Wanted to give you the update for the uh, indoor grow tents. As you can see, nothing really happening here in the uh, salad bar LED area or inside the mid-sized tent. It's been shut down for the summer. We have our last remaining trays of uh, lettuce in here. You can see that right there. And you can see there's the broccoli that we've reseeded. Or not re yeah, I guess it would be reseeded because we see a new tray of broccoli. So it's going to be about time to take off the cover here because we've got pretty much everybody germinated that we want. And you can see the dill here. It's doing really well. I had to move the lights up because it was getting a little bit of sun skull on some of these more delicate. Uh, these things are so soft. Oh, I love dill. I love, the, I love the smell on your hands when you, when you rub through it. Man, that is so nice. It's going to be great to do for uh, pickling. I think today, this evening, I'm probably going to take this outside and let it start growing outside and getting you know, ready for the, uh, the next phase of growth. I'll put it in a shady area. Somewhere probably on, like, maybe I'll set it on that bench by the fire pit to where it gets that peach tree shade so that way it's not going to get burned. But uh, that's kind of the update for the indoor tents. It's not too exciting in, you know, the indoor tents this time of year. But this winter, uh, I've been looking at some halide lights, and there's another LED light that I might want to try getting. So I'm kind of at a debating stage, because the halide light that I was looking at, I'm going to get two of them. If I get them, I'm going to get two of them, and I'm going to put them inside this tent. I'll probably hang one right, right up there in the center, and the other one over there in the center, and they're going to go down in this area, because I want to try growing those sweet potatoes. You know, I'm going to put a, I'm going to bring one of my trash can sweet potatoes in here and take the slips. And put those right here in this corner. I'm going to see how many sweet potato pounds I can grow in an indoor grow tent. But I need to have a good light, you know, shining to where it's going to be pretty close to daylight for that to happen. Because it's going to require quite a bit of light. Not just like your, your leafy greens and that kind of stuff. And then I can repurpose these lights. You know, I can take some of these lights and move them out of here. I can double up inside the salad bar area here. And have four lights hanging in here. That way I can start putting more lettuce greens and kales inside of here. And uh, inside this tent, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I'll run this one this winter. I might, might not. Depends on what I grow in the, uh, sorry about blowing on the mic there, guys. <laughs> but, you know, I've got enough growing in here space that uh, I think I'm going to cut back and focus on more specialty type stuff i'll still be growing the lettuces so you know i don't know i always say i'm going to cut back on things next thing you know i've got 12 flats of lettuce i've got two big trays or three big trays of kale and it's like i can't stop i just love gardening <laughs> i hope i make my grandmother and my mother proud because uh i sure wasn't into doing this stuff when i was in my 20s and i i miss uh i missed the opportunity to do a lot of this with my grandmother before she passed on and uh and uh, they had the farm out there, and the farm got sold, and so now it's like I'm kind of, I'm kind of revisiting my past and trying to recreate what I could have had. But you know, when you're uh, when you're in your 20s, you're pretty stupid sometimes, and uh, you know you have different priorities. But now that I'm in my uh, mid to late 40s, uh, I want to get back to the land, and I want to have my own little piece of heaven on a homestead. All right, well this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. I'll talk to you guys next week. All right, bye.